chapter 32. I can explain, the human voice spoke again. Yeah, right, Tessa said. I've just watched 75 years worth of your lives. Why would we believe anything you tell us? Because you three are the only ones who have ever gotten this far, the voice said. And you can double check everything I tell you. This will be the truth. I'm just trying to save you some time, which you're going to need. Tessa glanced anxiously at the door behind them, but Gideon and Deck both kept staring stonily at the computer screen. If you start the footage in the file marked Hot War, you can see what I'm talking about, the voice said. I'd start it myself if you'd just let me link. No way, Gideon growled. We're not giving you that kind of control. Still, he hit a few more keys, and the map vanished from the screen. In its place was a chaotic scene that made Tessa flinch and hide her face. Bombs dropping, bullets flying, people screaming blood flowing. Just in the brief moment before Tess put her hands over her eyes, she saw a man's head explode, a child running on legs that blew up underneath him, an entire school full of students collapsed into a pile of dust. That was the war, the computer voice said harshly. Personally, I'd stop the footage right here. I think you've seen enough. But you three are in control, not me. Tessa peeked out through the slits between her fingers. Gideon let the footage keep running. It was too awful to watch but she had to keep looking to see if it would ever end. You could have faked that too, Dex said shakily. But I didn't, the voice said. That really happened more than 75 years ago. That couldn't go on for 75 years, Tessa said. There wouldn't be enough people left to die. Exactly, the voice said. The generals asked for computer projections, studies of all the alternatives. What would happen if we did this, if Weston did that, all the choices? Every projection led to... Gideon, it's under the file labeled alternatives. I think this is a case where you really need to see what I'm talking about. Gideon frowned, but the scene changed. Now the screen showed a mushroom-shaped cloud growing over the landscape. And then there was only silence and death and dust. The humans were dead. The animals were dead. The trees were dead. The entire planet, planet looked dead. The war zone didn't look like that, Deck protested. But if anything, her voice sounded even shakier. No, it didn't, the computer voice agreed, and in the interest of honesty, not every projection led to nuclear annihilation, exactly. Just some form of annihilation, total destruction of the human race, no matter what we did. But we're still here, Tessa said in a small voice. That was more than 75 years ago, and we're still here. So you found another choice, or someone did. We did, the voice agreed. We saved the human race from wiping itself off the face of the earth, along with every other living thing. We did? Gideon asked. You mean, you and the top generals found another choice? No, the voice said. Me and the enemy's computer system.